Galaxy lamps are all the rage these days, so we went out and got a smart Galaxy lamp projector, so we will be going through that in this video, bringing you an all-in-one tutorial on unboxing, setup, and everything you need to know in the app. Getting into the box, you only get two pieces. You'll get the Galaxy light projector and a power cable. You won't get a USB power adapter, so make sure you have one around or have a plug for it. Once you have it all set up and plugged in, you're going to want to take off the laser cover. Also, make sure you don't directly look into this laser. It is not good for your eyes, so make sure you keep careful and put it in a good spot so you don't have that laser going in your eyes. You do have those multi-adjustable placements for how you want your Galaxy lamp projector to be orientated. I say keep the lasers pointed up as much as possible. This way you don't have any of the lasers going into your eyes. It's a big thing. Also, make sure you hold down that blue button on the side to start pairing, and if you can't get it to work through pairing that way, you're going to unplug and replug in the power cable three times, making sure that the device completely turns off first. Once you plug it in on the third time, it will automatically start to pair and make sure you take off that last laser cover. Now getting into app setup, you'll want to download the Smart Life Smart Living app, which will be in the description below. Also, make sure if you haven't paired it already, take out that power cable three times, plug it back in three times, it'll get a pairing. And if you want to pair it the other way, hold down that blue button. Once your device is in pairing mode, go to the top right corner, click the plus button, add device, and then it will automatically find. But you could also just go to the lighting. But the way we found it actually was just by waiting for it to appear. And once it appeared, we had easily added it to our app. Next step is the change of the name within the app to make it easier for your Google Assistant to recognize. This is something that I do because honestly, this a smart star projector might be a bit of a mouthful. So living room star projector is something that might be something good or you could just leave it with whatever. It doesn't matter. Once you're all set up within the app, it'll take you to the color section where you'll be able to change the color of the lamp projection. The laser is unfortunately only green or blue depending on what color you choose upon purchase, but the light projector is a variety of colors. Now moving past the color aspect to the scenes, which is my favorite part of all of these smart lights. It is a changeable light, which gives you as many as seven to eight different color changes, as well as the ability to select what colors they will change to. This is my favorite to have integrated with all my lights, and I leave one set of my scenes always in the same order to make sure that all of my lights sync almost perfectly. Once you've chosen all of these scene colors for your light cycle, you'll be able to change the speed as well as what the brightness is set to. I always leave it to 100 percent and I make sure that I start at red and end at pink most of the time. Beyond that you can change the color flash speed as well as the color flash mode. I always leave it on breathe. Breathe is the most naturally changing in my opinion. And when it comes to color flash speed I usually leave it very slow because it just feels much more relaxing when you have the color changing very gradually instead of very quickly. So that's really the only reason why I pick and I always change the name to something easy to find. But there is a 10 character limit so don't forget that. Now beyond the scene settings you must submit your scene changes and once you have done that they have saved so now we're going to go back to the laser section which in that top right corner where you have that switch that is the laser off and on switch and then you have your laser movement speed as well as laser brightness you can change them to whatever you choose but i always want to have it at 100 percent but as to the movement maybe you want to have it slower depending on how relaxed you want to be now getting in how to set up the voice activation with Google Assistant. It is a very awesome feature, which I love. You want to go to your settings, click on link with Google Assistant, and then from there you will want to go to your Google Home app. Once you're in your Google Home app, you'll want to go to your devices, then click on the plus button as well as works with Google. Once you have clicked on works with Google, make sure you go into the smart life and check for new devices. Once you have agreed and linked your account again, it will pull up your Starlight projector, which you can pick what room as well as what home and all that different stuff depending on what you need. Now because this room is multifaceted and not just a home theater room, I added a new room called the home theater room just for the starlight projector. This way it doesn't turn on when I'm turning on the living room lights and the TV and all that other stuff, which I think is a better idea long term because I'm only going to really be using this light projector in certain circumstances, so it's better to have it on its own room to be turned on and off at the right moment. Now my favorite part about Google Home is that they have everything integrated perfectly and it is very easy to use your Google Assistant to turn on often on your lights as well as your TVs and all your other stuff. So we'll probably make another video covering that at some other point. Beyond all that, don't forget to check out the links in the description to help support the channel by buying this Galaxy projector lamp. And beyond that, don't forget to smash that like button to this channel and subscribe to Puffin Planet because we are a new channel that has been around for a while, but we are always demonetized. So we appreciate your support in any way you can. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to stay elevated and peace out.